I will go over what you should do. I will go over what you shouldn't do. There are a lot of common mistakes among patients and doctors. The first is a standing x-rays. The reason I say standing is most patients who have had knee pain, they come to us, they don't have x-rays. A lot of patients that have had knee pain for a long time, they come to us with an x-ray that was supine or prone. They were laying down on a flatbed, x-ray was done. But the problem is that with that is you have pain when you're standing. You don't have pain when you're laying down in your bed. You have pain when you're sitting on a couch and want to get up to be standing. Therefore, the x-ray needs to be standing. That's why we do standing x-rays to see what is the position of your actual knee joint when you're standing. Is it the medial side that has a problem? Is it the lateral side that has a problem? Is it the front of the knee that has a problem? Is it the back of the knee that has a problem? So standing x-rays are essential. Next common mistake that we see in our office is most patients who have had injections, they have had injections without imaging guidance. What it means, imaging guidance, it helps the physician when they inject the person's knee to see at the point of entry what's going on in the knee joint because we don't like to guess. We want to see. We want to localize the point of entry to your joint to see where the medication goes. The problem is we see a lot of surgeons who are expert in their field, and this is kind of something very basic for them to provide an injection versus cut you and give you a surgery. They do a blindfold without imaging guidance. And without imaging guidance, if an injection is done, the medication may miss the area that it's supposed to go. Because don't forget, these injections that we're talking about are commonly known as gel shots. These gels they have to be in a specific area of your knee to stay there. They are similar to the uh, fillers that mostly ladies, they put in their face, they are gel. And the reason they're gel because wherever the physician puts them, they stay there. Now, you need to understand, before we provide the injections, our medical team take your history. They take your history based on your age, based on your level of activity, based on your complicating factors. They in take into consideration all of that based on your evaluation, examination, before recommending what type of procedure suits you best. Whether it's corticosteroids, whether it's gel shots, whether it's nerve block shots, whether it's combination. These injections are virtually painless. We have many patients, they report to us, these injections, they don't hurt and some of them, they don't even feel it because they use a freezing spray on the knee joint. So this way, a lot of our patients, they do not feel it. And you don't need hospitalization. You do not need anesthesia. You do not need months of rehab. You don't need to do specific exercises after this. There's no time off from work. You walk in and you walk out without a scar on your knee. These gel shots are safe. They are designed to stay where we put the injection, which in this case is your knee joint. So to provide cushioning, they help cushioning, they help restoring function, they help for you to be more active because one of the reasons you are not active is because you're afraid of having pain and inflammation at the same time or later. These gel shots, they are known to be effective six months or longer. Granted, sometimes you may need a corticosteroid shot. Sometimes we have been successful that our patients, they get a nerve block shots because around your knee joint, there is a couple of nerves on each side. Our nerve specialist injects you with specific 
medication that is non-corticosteroid. And they work, and they work really, really well to give you pain relief. The next thing that's very important is custom fit bracing after injection. Now, bracing could be used to stabilize your knee, but some of you, you come here, you say, I don't need my knee to be stabilized. I can walk, but when I walk long, I have a problem. But you need to understand, bracing is also used to unload your knee. That's why they're called unloader knee brace. This is another common mistake. Many patients, they come to our office, they have had a brace given to them, but it's the wrong brace because their next door neighbor used it, they felt better, so they thought they were gonna feel better as well because the doctor just gave them a knee brace. You have to have a knee unloader brace. Custom fitted for you. That's why we provide custom fit unloader brace to you as our patient because no two knees are equal. Well, guess what? Your right knee and left knee, they're not equal. They're not the same. Okay, and it's also good to unload your knee so when the medication or the gel shot is provided to you, the gel stays there. And if you wear it for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, it's gonna stay, then you can take it off. Sometimes our physicians, they give you this custom fit knee bracing to do exercise with. So it really depends what your needs are. Another common issue that we have seen is as soon as a patient hears bone on bone, they relate that, that they need surgery. Well, bone on bone does not mean you need surgery. There is knee degeneration. When it gets to more severe stages, it becomes more bone on bone. There is different grades of bone on bone. Only the final and last resort, which is less than 20% of bone on bone population, they may require surgery. There is knee degeneration. We need to do knee regeneration. We have a lot of regenerative products. Depends on what your needs are, what needs to be regenerated. If it is ligaments, muscles, tendons, nerves, they need to be regenerated we do platelet-rich plasma therapy. If there is the knee cartilage is missing, we do stem cell therapy. Now, these two, they're not covered by insurance, but the good news is regenerative injection therapy is starting to become covered with many insurance plans for amniotic-derived regenerative therapy from Wharton's Jelly. I don't want to get into that now. So if and only if you need it, it may be covered. The good news is many insurance companies are covering it because it costs a lot less to pay for this than a total knee replacement. The problem is you think by you going to a doctor that you have gone for years to even sometimes surgeons who commonly prescribe surgery for you, you think that's the answer. I'm here to educate you. I'm not here to medicate you. Your job is to get educated. If it makes sense, implement it. In this office, we do everything in our power for you not to need surgery, and we have been successful about it. Can we guarantee it? Absolutely not. We cannot guarantee anything. Have we been successful? Of course we have. In this office, the only care the patient will receive is the care that we recommend. You cannot come here and ask, can I get PRP shot? Well, of course you can ask, but you're not gonna get it because if you feel that you need gel shot, we're not gonna give you a PRP shot. If you feel you need X, Y, Z, we're not gonna give you A, B, C even if you pay for it out of pocket, even if your insurance doesn't cover it. We want you to get better as fast as possible. You may feel that you're coming into our office 
with the best suggestion that you received from your neighbor, your mother, your child, your grandchild. However, you fail to realize we have a team of doctors, team of medical professionals available here for you who studied this for years and years. And all of them, they recommend the same or similar care to you, the patient. People are different. People have to get evaluated. You need to get evaluated. You need to get examined. Then we provide you the care plan that we would feel it best suits your needs. You may need physical therapy in conjunction with other procedures that are provided to you. But again, I need you to realize all physical therapy is not equal. We have had patients, as soon as we say, you may need physical therapy for the gel shots to stay there and the muscles to get stronger, they say, oh, I've had physical therapy, it didn't work. Well, you need to understand, there is a physical therapy where you go to a therapist, the therapist puts you on a machine, 35 minutes after they come and say, okay, you can go home, versus there's a physical therapy that you work with a doctor of physical therapy who works with you one-on-one -on -one to provide relief, increase range of motion, stretch the tight muscles, strengthen the weak muscles, and that's what we have at Medwell. That's the difference. We also provide a technology which is second to none. It was shocking to us even when we started applying it on the patient. It's called neurogenics. Neurogenics is an electronic signal technology that stimulates nerve regeneration. So increases nerve signals. The more nerve signals you have, the more your muscles get stronger, the faster you recover. And it provides exceptional pain relief. It has been a great success for us using neurogenics because it works and it works really, really well for any sort of nerve problem, including nerves around your knees, nerves for neuropathy, where you don't feel where your feet are, you have numbness and tingling, and of course, back pain. So the key is to provide the care that you need all at the same time. This is a big key factor. They work synergistically. Like your condition, it works synergistically. You cannot have a weak muscles and tendons around your knee with a strong knee joint. You cannot have a weak knee joint with strong muscles around it. Either the whole area is weak or not. Okay, so the treatment, if you one thing that you take from this, that as I said before, the care that you get in this office is the care that we recommend. Okay, because we understand that certain services, they work synergistically. Our patients' population, they are from elderly to younger generation. We have patients in their 20s, they come here for treatment for their knee problem. We have physicians come to this office. We have musicians come to this office, professional athletes coming to this office from New Jersey or out of state. We have physicians who do surgery themselves. They come to this office to get non-surgical orthopedic care. Did you know surgeons, if they need surgery, they use that as last resort or they try to do everything to prevent surgery? Why? Because they do not want a scar on their knee or anywhere they have, they need surgery. They do not want to go under the knife. They do not want to have exposure to anesthesia because there's a chance of death. Whenever you go to hospital or surgery center to have surgery, you sign, I don't know, 25 to 30 pages of paper. But one of them is states, if we give you anesthesia and you die, it's not our fault. So anesthesia is something to really consider whether you want to do surgery or not. There's high risk of infection. That's why most people, they don't want to do surgery. Loss of wages, loss of work, not to mention surgeries are not guaranteed anyway. But the good news is that most insurance plans, including Medicare, pay for the services that we mentioned 
that is provided at Medwell Spine Knee and Leg Pain Center.